poem, let them say, and they shall see. Let them say what they wish behind our backs. Let them lie, let them laugh, let them whisper. What they say about us are not but trash from minds where foolish thoughts always linger. Let them speak. On judgment day they shall see the results of their sins they committed against themselves and against you and me. Some of their good deeds may be rejected. Or transferred to our account of good deeds. Hence, for the oppressed, that would be a gain donated by those who are most in need of good actions to erase what they claimed. So, if some mention you in a bad way, while you've never done them any wrong per se, believe that they're just jealous of you, and know their vile speech and lies may shock them on judgment day. Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him narrated that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, whoever has done an injustice, to his brother, in respect to his honor, or anything else, should seek his forgiveness, to be absolved by him, before the day, when there will be neither dinar, nor to him. If he has good deeds, they will be taken from him, to counterbalance the injustices he did, and if he does not have any good deed, some of the bad actions of his friend will be taken and will be transferred to his account. Advice to all, including myself, if you've done anything wrong to any person, and what you did wasn't right or just, ask for that Muslim's forgiveness now before he might take from your good deeds, on the day of judgment, or you carry some or all of their sins. If you cannot apologize, at least pray, that Allah will forgive the both of you, and include them, in your duas and prayers.